Well, Sauron vs. Arthas, or Lich King, as he's formerly known as, is out. Thank God they didn't go with Voldemort, because that matchup is actually garbage. Plus, Arthas is and looks way cooler than the poster child for rhinoplasty gone wrong. If you understood that reference, you are officially amazing. But how is it as an actual episode? Well, let's find out. And don't forget to check out the Car Boys video after this, or our reaction to the episode itself. We mostly just talk about random shit in that video, but it's a good time nonetheless. For starters, the analysis is pretty good. Once again, there aren't that many versus stuff in the analysis, but I enjoyed learning more about Lord of the Rings and World of Warcraft. Plus, it's not like the versus stuff is just entirely absent like in Jason vs. Michael. It's just not that prevalent here. They also brought up that Arthas is a Blizzard employee, and that shit is just funny and you can't tell me otherwise. You know what else is funny? The jokes! I actually laughed at a few of them. Like Boomstick being infatuated with the ring, and as Wiz prepares a shield for defense, just in case. Wow. Boomstick had a better ring joke than Wiz did. Now that I think about it, this means that Boomstick is capable of terrible things with the ring. Meaning that not only is Boomstick an Omega level mutant with psychic powers that rivals Cable, but he also has enough power to use the ring to devastating effect, making him a god, basically. Well, he would have been if he didn't eat the ring! Why? How? Who? Why, why would you do that? That's gonna be like hell coming out on the other end. Okay, so the analysis is pretty good, but how was the fight? Well, to be honest, it is so good. For starters, this is a very aesthetically pleasing animation. It's a lot like Harley vs. Jinx, which I am not complaining about in any way, since that episode was really nice to look at. I know this is going to sound weird, but the color of the ice is a really nice ha, that rhymed, shade of blue. It's very colorful, and my eyes like colors, so I like looking at this. Another thing I have to give props for is the voice acting. Philip Sacramento does a great job with Arthas, making him sound genuinely threatening and powerful. He puts on this big, booming voice for a character, and I love it. But it's Ryan Solis, I'm very sorry if I mispronounced that, as Sauron that steals the show for me. He puts on this raspy, whispering voice for Sauron, kind of like this, but less like an ASMR, and I am all for it. I also like the random whispers you hear surrounding Sauron. That's such a cool attention to detail! Plus, some of the line deliveries are really cool. Special shoutouts to Sauron's I see you line, and Arthas's You will find nothing there! in response to Sauron saying that I'll rip out his heart, Omni Man style. Pretty good stuff all around. And the action. Good lord, the action is so good. The characters really feel like they have a lot of weight to them. Considering they're both wearing massive suits of armor, this isn't surprising. Sauron especially. Since he uses a mace, unlike Arthas who uses a sword, you can really see him putting effort into swinging his weapon, as his weapon is far less aerodynamic than his opponent's. There are also some pretty cool moments in the fight. I like how Arthas summons spirits from those slain by Frostmoor, and Sauron is briefly overwhelmed before blasting them all back with the One Ring and corrupting one of the souls to use as his own pawn. That's some pretty cool training of abilities right there! And it's followed up by Sauron turning into a wolf and jumping out of a cloud of smoke to attack the Lich King. That's a cool shot! I also like Sauron cracking open a mountain like he's cracking open a cold one with the lads, and it's followed up with a really cool shot of Sauron and Arthas fighting in front of Arthas' icy throne, which then leads to Sauron catching Frostmourne in his hand and bleeding... I want to say oil? Or maybe it's god blood? I don't know what it is, but he bleeds, so there's that. I do wish Sauron reacted just a little bit, but that's just me. And the following shot is pretty bad. It's just Sauron slowly swinging his mace in front of him while Arthas slowly dodges like he's waiting for his favorite show to come on. But it does lead to the badass giant eye staring contest between the Eye of Sauron and the Eye of Acherus. I am 
Very sorry to any WoW fans if I mispronounced any of this in the episode, in this video. Honestly, I wasn't expecting this, but I'm so glad it was worked into the fight. It was such a cool thing to do. And then this leads up to the death, which is also so damn good. Sauron breaks Frostmourne and teleports to the throne of the Lich King. He then uses what I can only assume to be the other souls contained within Frostmourne. I'm not entirely sure what they are. If any WoW fan wants to explain them to me, then I would not be against that. Um... <laughs> Then, he uses the One Ring to suck up Arthas' soul, leaving him as an empty husk, as Arthas' eyes go from this being a radiant blue to black as the life leaves his body. Sauron just sits himself down on Arthas' throne, as the snow around him melts due to how much heat he generates. That is a pretty cool ending. And this shot, this shot right here, is just so badass. I don't know what it is, it could just be a normal shot, but I don't know, it is just so good. Oh, I didn't even mention the track. The track is freaking amazing. Their wolf did a fantastic job with it. While I wouldn't listen to it normally, it still slaps. Especially near the end as Sauron just pulls up to Lich King's throne like a G and just sits his ass down like he owns the place. Lucara Boy said it feels like a Dark Souls track, and I 100% agree with him. Oh, and the name is cool too. Let it be known that One King to Rule Them All has the best track name of Season 9. Fight me on that, you cowards! Oh, and the post-analysis is just a little forgettable. I do like how Sauron didn't have a single advantage in the post-analysis. Bro is just that much of a goat. Even Spongebob had at least one disadvantage. But other than that, again, it doesn't really go into the whole versus stuff. It's just kind of there to explain why they think Sauron wins. But, uh, yeah. This episode's pretty good. Uh, the analysis was pretty good. The animation was great, and it proves why I prefer Blender fights to SFM fights. And the track is godlike. My only real complaints are that one scene that moves slower than a corpse with arthritis, the post-analysis, and, um, Sauron not really reacting to getting his hand cut, which, I mean, even just a little, like, interesting, sort of, would be fine. But, um, this episode slaps so hard and I love it. As for the next time... I have no idea why they went with this one. I mean, I don't even know what the similarities between the two are. Maybe, I think, I think, I, I think, if I remember correctly from what Potato King called me, because he likes Black Clover, so I'm happy that he got his series in. Now all I just need is Sunday vs. Infinity Ultron to happen for me to be fully complete. But, um, I don't really know the similarities outside of I think they were born without the ability to use an ability, namely quirks for Deku and magic for Asta. So, yeah, and also, he's fi Asta's fighting Deku. And for those who don't know, I don't like Deku that much. I mean, I don't hate him, but he's, I just don't, I don't I'm not a big fan of him. I do hope that they at least treat him with some respect in the episode. It will at least treat him with all the respect, because if a character gets in death battle, they should be treated with respect and not fucking tossed around unless that's the point of the episode. But, uh, eh, I'll just have to suck it up. I have heard from some people that they'd rather have another cape shit episode instead of this, but, like, no? At least this one has a bit of creativity to it. You can do a lot of stuff. You can use, like, Deku's fucking 10 billion quirks or whatever. And I don't really know that much about Asta, so I can't really comment on what I would want him to do. I'm sure Potato King Kang, if he, if, if he, I see him in the comments, give him a, give him a, a hello. Say, say hello to him, because he's a great dude. 
Um, anyway, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And if you did really enjoy, I don't know why you would, hit that notification bell so you never miss another video from me. I don't know why you would want to do that, but hey, it pays the bills and allows me to keep making garbage content for you all. And don't forget to check out the Carboys videos in the description. Also in the description, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Anyway, you've all been wonderful. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to go finish my drawings that I haven't started yet.